My name is Jay Pausch. My husband, Randy Pausch, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in September of 2006. My husband, being a computer scientist and a researcher, uh, had already Googled the term pancreatic cancer. And uh, he just looked at me and said that he was going to die from this. He had been invited to give the lecture before his cancer had reoccurred. But then when the diagnosis came back that the cancer had returned and we knew that he would die in a short period of time, it took on, a, I think, another possibility for him. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. He talked about his childhood dreams and realizing your childhood dreams. And it was something that got picked up by the press and that brought a lot of attention to the disease as well as to our situation. He had a 5% chance of being alive in five years, but at the same time, he didn't give up on living. Going to testify in front of Congress, he was desperately trying to make an impact in what little time he had left on increasing funding for pancreatic cancer research, which is sorely underfunded. Pancreatic cancer right now is the fourth leading killer amongst cancers. When he got into the car to drive up to Washington, D.C., he barely had any strength whatsoever. The fact that he was able to will himself to walk around the Capitol and to talk to Congress about the need for research dollars, uh, I think is incredible. When he came home that evening, he got into bed and he did not get out of bed for two weeks because he was so exhausted. It was for him his opportunity to say, I'm going to, in this one shot, give it my all and see if I can make a difference um, in, in the time that he had left and when he passed away th uh, four months later. First and foremost, we need to encourage our government to dedicate more money to this horrendous disease. Um, it's a tough problem, there's no doubt about it. It's going to take a while to solve it. We shouldn't expect to go into this war and say it's going to be over soon. But I think that first and foremost, we have to give smart people the tools that they need to solve the problem.